What's up guys? So, last video, we were talking about how I wrecked, how I promote gear now, all that stuff. That's a lot. Last video, we were fixing the bike. Video before that, we were talking about all that. So, obviously, I told you all I was wearing gloves. Got my gloves over here. Got a new full face in the house. We'll talk about that later. But, what I wanted to show you all was this. I've got the Scorpion XO. Scorpion XO Covert Flannel, I think is what it's called. Yeah, Covert Moto Flannel. I got the gray and black. I got it in a large. Now, I am 5'11", 6 foot. I don't know. I don't measure myself. And I'm like 200 pounds. I got a beer gut. Or dad bod or... It's not really most, it's mostly just food because I like food. I will eat the hell out of food if you didn't know. And if we're ever around each other, you'll see that I love food. But, off topic, the Covert Flannel. I looked up so many reviews on that. I couldn't find a single one about how it actually feels when riding. Just found the Revzilla one, which showed me that I should probably get a large instead of an extra large. But I've seen so many reviews and nobody talks about how they are riding. So that's what we're going to do. So let me go ahead and put this thing on, show you all what it fits like on me, and then go from there. got the covert flannel on don't have it buttoned up it's got a zipper which I don't know if you can see this got a zipper it's a YKK zipper pretty good brand but it's a little bit smaller than I expected you've got this pocket right here which is great for a phone or something else you want to keep there I'm not saying what they say it's for but you can conceal something in here. It's also got the pocket right here, which if you're using an iPhone 8 Plus, get that in there, it will not work. It's just a little too big for it. That's why you got this other pocket. Or your pants pocket if you're not wearing dickies where everything falls out. The one thing is, large you will have some arm some sleeve if you're like 5 11 6 foot you're gonna have long arms compared to the large you may want to go to the extra large you may not I don't know it doesn't bother me it's nice to get that little bit of extra for, uh, extra air in there I guess it, it'd be extra air is what you're getting so when it's warmer outside you're getting extra air right now let's look at the temperature pull up my iPhone weather map app not weather map weather app duh so right now it is 73 degrees outside it's a little warm but in this, it doesn't feel that bad. Uh, if you put a regular flannel on, you might be normal. You might, I don't know how you are. Me, I don't like it cold. I like it nice and warm. This flannel, perfect for this weather. Honestly, it may be, you may get a little chilly. A full face in this, I'm perfect. 78 degrees, perfect. 90 degrees, a little warm. But, surprisingly, I rode this in 90 degree heat. This is why I wanted to do this video. Nobody talked about wearing this in hot weather. Okay, if you want gear, you want to wear something 
that you can wear in the hot weather. You may not want to wear a leather jacket because that's going to be miserable. You may not want to wear some mesh jacket because you don't want to look like you're wearing a jacket, which is why this, if you can tell, it does not look anything but like a normal flannel. Now, let me zip this thing up so you can see how it works. So, boom, zips up. You got your buttons to cover up the zipper. Boom, you put your wallet in there or something, I don't know. That's what I put in there. But, zipped up, nice and tight. Fits good. And I am, like I said, 5'11", 6 foot, 200 pounds. If you're about my height, about my size, with a little bit of a dad bod, it's gonna fit you pretty good in a large. All right, I'm gonna take this thing off because it is a little warm in it. But, from what I have noticed, if you're not a little bit warm when you're sitting still, you're gonna be freezing when you're riding. Comes off. Now this is a cool thing. You can unbutton this and unvelcro it, but I choose not to. It is a little tight to get off if you don't use that. All right, hang this back up on the bike. So, if you're looking for a not leather jacket, but you want some protect, some protection. Kevlar, so it's all the way through. It's got a quilted liner, so I can't tell you where it actually is. I know that we've seen the Skull Riders one. He says it's all the way through, and it's in the back. It's in the elbows, and it's on the shoulders, but it's not all the way through the arm. I don't know if the Scorpion is the same way. I honestly can't tell you. But I do know that it is supposed to be Kevlar all the way through. 90 degree weather. Not that uncomfortable for me personally. I can ride when I'm moving. It's not bad. And that's what I wanted to say. And I've got riding shots that I've thrown in here. But nobody has talked about how it was in hot weather. And that's what I wanted to say. They said it's really not bad in hot weather. It Obviously, a t-shirt is going to be way cooler and feel way better, but this thing does not feel bad at all. Like, I would 100% recommend this as a jacket, a casual rider's jacket or rider's shirt. I would also like to try out the Icon, like the weird Under Armour, like flex thing, I don't know. Probably going to try that out next summer, but for this... Anything below 65, you are going to get chilly. Didn't think so, but anything 65 and below, you are going to be chilly. About 75 to about 83, 85 is probably meant for that flannel. Anything over 85, you're going to be a little hot, but you're going to be hot no matter what. Highly recommend. And... That's basically all I think I really have to say. I just want to let y'all know because every review I looked up before I bought it had nothing talking about how it felt riding. Gets pretty good airflow. Not bad, not bad in the hot. So, that's my review on it rather than just telling you this is the fit, this is the specs. You probably already looked up the specs and if you didn't look up the specs, it's got Duke Bunt Kevlar all the way through it, I believe. And it's got a YKK zipper and buttons and a pocket on the inside. $130, very good investment. Especially if you want something to protect you and you don't want to look like something to protect you. So I guess that's all I really have to say. So uh, peace out and I hope this helped you out some.